According to science, it has been proven that if you keep making move after move, you will hit what is commonly referred to as jackpot. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is AC. Thanks for stopping by. And on today's video, I'll be doing a high school memory or events that I found very funny at high school. And the initial plan was to have my friends come over and we do this video together but since of this social distancing i had to improvise so i had them make a video of themselves and they sent it to me and i'll be sharing it with you guys so i hope you enjoy this video don't forget to like subscribe and share my best high school memory was the last night of high school four. Uh, that night we decided to have dunda in the in the dorms so we started drumming we started dancing we were making a lot of noise that you at us we were dancing when you wanna sing when you wanna dance kwa cubes when you wanna dance kwa corridor ya dope it looked too chaotic all of a sudden we had a knock on our dormitory door kufungua it was our principal anaingia aki it was a fake call. Everyone knew it was a fake call. At yes, at the police have been sent. Wako kwa gate. At the people who live next to our school are complaining. At we are making a lot of noise. They call the police on us. At we turn the racket down. To look at yes, we will, we will. Ali talk at you the volume will already like a hundred. We didn't care. I could like to get fanya because it was the last night. Na plus we were finishing school so kila mtu alikuwa tu zile za kamba ya mbaya we fanya vile utajisikia so enjoy the rest of the video and i hope you like and share this video hey guys my name is hafsa two things i miss most about high school friends i mean the whole class in general kina joseph lauren moige masi ruth Brenda, Darcy, Chelsea, Nicole, Esther. I miss you guys. The second thing I miss about high school is the Saturday afternoons when we used to have the general cleaning thing. Gioni we could make Indomie, buy triple smoky, my smoky, and then make stories. That was the best day in the whole week in high school for me. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Hi. I'm Trina and I'm here to share two memories, two of my best memories in high school rather. So yeah, so my first best memory is being accused to belong in a group of six people and being called names. For example, Al-Qaeda and Kapenguria 6 and all those names. And you were accused of planning to kill a girl in school. Apparently the girl lived in Mombasa. So I do not know how we were supposed to kill her or something. So yeah. So we were being given punishment each and every day. Like a whole term. And then our best punishment was washing the bathrooms. So washing our, the bathrooms used to wash. And once they are clean, we sit on the sinks, sing our voices out and laugh and tell stories the whole afternoon. The principal was very upset with us. And then she said she's going to send us home. So we were waiting to go home the next day. So we packed our bags. And as people are learning, as we were with our bags, waiting for our parents to come. So each and every car that enters the school compound, you're like, oh, that's not my our car. Oh, so you, you get like, we were, we were just waiting to go home because there was nothing that we did. It was just an accusation of something silly. Anyway, yeah. Second best memory was being a supply of pin pops. And we used to get, like, we were, like, my deskmate and I, we used to get pin pops from, from the cooks in school. So they used to go get pin pops from outside, and they bring us, then we sell and get money. So, yeah. So in that, there's a time our business went on a break since... The director found ra uh, wrappers of sweets from like the pits. So she was like, we have to investigate this. So we had to stop selling sweets. But that was the best time ever. Like we got rich. Like 
rich, freaking rich out of pimples. Yeah, you know, you know, girls with sweet soap. <laughs> that was that is just that. That was the best time like ever. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know very well that our schoolmates were scandalous and my best memory is when our friend was told that her shirt is too tight by our headmistress and she told her to remove it and go place it on her desk. Now you'd expect that as usual, you go to the dormitory, you remove the shirt, you come and place the one that you asked for on the desk, but she went straight to the office removed her shirt, placed it on the desk, and walked away with a bra on. Can you imagine? Can you just imagine? <laughs> wow! Hey, I'm Rosie. I went to Our Lady of Mercy. My, my best, best memory Nilikuanga kuna fangu nchi lianga, so kuyo fangi nchi likuwa na na bishi zangu. So what happened literally? Some of some of the girls were concerned about me. We were really missing a lot, a lot. Like people were really missing me. So kachangu na dad, driver lianga kengi na kisha kengi ya soga ni kasi kula. So we had to run after the rest of the to do isha to watch a school bus. The bus ni just kind of that. Okay. Uh, I went to two high schools. So my first high school was in was in Thika called he in Pioneer, Pioneer Girls. Hey, that school was one hell of a ghetto. Way, my friend. Okay, I think my best one was when during the avocado season we used to steal, and then you know where we used to steal? We used to steal at our principal's house, as in she could just. Ile angefungwa kati angiona tu kwa ngari hapo tuju ya mti We go steal avocados as many as many as we can And then you we'll just look for your best friend's box And then you put them inside there So zinenda zinaivyo kwa ndani Hi, thank you so for making me do this uh, Two memories I remember in high school One is this day that uh, me and my cubemates were feeling so hungry, so we had to go for ugali in the cafeteria. We used to call it blackout. So when we were there, we found the chef and we asked him for ugali and he served us. It was so much late. It was so much. We couldn't even finish it. So when going back to the dormitory, the matron found us and stopped us. And she made us finish all the ugali inside the cafeteria, like not going it with it to the dorm. So we had to finish all the ugali. Like we, we almost cried. But we had to finish it. So we went back to the cube and all of them were laughing at us like Yeah. The second one is so there was this day we were going for chemistry lab. It was almost lunchtime and you know for fours we go with plates to the class. So that day it was rice. Rice. And hey I carried and the bell rang and it was time for lunch. So people were running when I can be out to play. So me when I was running I fell and one of my leg and one of my shoe fell inside the reception. Hi. Um okay, my best friend, actually she's like a sister to me. She asked me to make a video of um something that is memorable from high school <laughs> uh well well there are a lot of memories like a whole lot so one of my best memories is um <laughs> i had this indian friend in school and she used to come with this indian chilies and such and um, there's a time she put 
so much pepper in food. <laughs> it was so hard to eat. I, it was just so hard. It, it had a lot of chili and stuff. And can you imagine stupid me put salt, a whole lot of salt so that it can probably make the pepper like a bit mild or I could take it in. <laughs> Man, I hated myself back then. <laughs> and um, another thing that is memorable from school is um, the night we decided to strike. He sijai yona was chana kama ni waukovu ivo. Na kumbi kuko tunamka satisa. Tunamsho satisa kuamba. Hehehe. Sayo like. People wanted to ban the school. It's us from Falls who told them no, don't ban the school. We still need the school. We are about to do our exams and stuff and everything. But that night, hey, I've never seen Mr. Bundy, the headmaster, so scared and so concerned. The principal, Mr. Sharma, Likwa, so alikuwa too angry. Any ulikunwa to has sira to kosurayake. So as Chano Meomba Wameomba, the girls are so prayerful and everything. Well, that's probably <laughs> among a few memories I have from high school. And um I see I can get to zingine we shape, I can go kini kumbusha kwasa babu Okay, I won't bring the excuse of me having a lot in, in my head but kuna vienye tu ni kona short memory loss na siku peda kwagu ni kupeda shokret sana anyway um, love you SC and uh, stay safe na uva imas kutafadhali mimi sinapesa kukuja kukutua quarantine na jela mm, unanisikia yes hini I hope this is it. Okay, see ya. Bye. Saseni wananchi. So, uh, two memories from my high school experience. Uh, first of all, uh, from my school, we had the most beautiful ladies in Nakuru County. Uh, second of all, um, funkies were the thing, as in each time to get a funky, we were like the royalties of our time. As in, to look at a step to EV, everything just stops automatic for our grand entrance with our big buses. Wet, Lukwanga, those girls, as in, wow. We used to cause chaos. Now that we wanted it or anticipated for it, but to look at it, to not so much attention because of our looks and uh, spot wise we were also performing so yes see you three i'm really in looks uh to look at of course a lot of drama a lot of things as in hospital things in a happen as in where well, kubaniwa kubaniwa music festival should lead to as in Shulegani na Baniwangwa Music Festival and it's not even our fault like all of us just because two boys decided to fight it can turn into something police case hi okay so isn't those like like those were like the highlights zukiwa shule like where sasa shule knew everyone knows about it you have a kasivi mejundia as then you you the people now eh akuna watu wengine wanatambulika it's just you guys uh but it used to be fun ni kwanza ndikuwa na joy ride i can never forget mr maura mr maura wherever you are uli ni beba sana by the way kwa tunadandia hizi nini kama first aid fake as a super first aid group club but in the end days of it, when I need just to come into my town. So my second experience, okay, second memory rather. Um, the time 
uh, when we were almost doing our KCSE exams. So one night, one weekend to out of the blues, we decided we just want to go for normal entertainment, like normal students to Kamoa, to Ekedunda, a whole dorm. And guess where the dorm was? Next to the matrons. Liqua home. Not cube. Next, okay, next to the matrons, please. So I say, I'm going steam up, we are drumming, to me break our backs, to me break, to me break, to me quenda, to me quenda, to what we are dance. Like people have really done the most, eh? Because to imagine you're closing school, you're going to miss all this. Acha to watch if I to the fullest, Cindy. So the matron, of course, I catch feeling, lazima. I show that hand of authority. Akakuja, kabisha tumlango. Guess what? No one wanted to open at first, so I don't know who really went and opened. She entered, and then she was like, "Everyone, washing his thina. Oh, 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 suju ni 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 ni. To mambo. Okay, too many threats. I can't even recall, but yeah, I'll make too many threats. So what happened?